Hi everybody, uh, welcome to today's video. We are going to be working on measuring circumferences. Now in order to do this work, you must have practiced your parts of a circle enough to know a couple different terms. You need to know all five of those terms that we learned. Area, radius, diameter, circumference, and center. Okay, you need to know what all five of those are. If you're not sure, that's okay. Just go back to the parts of the circle, practice that lesson a little bit more, and come back and join us. So if you remember, the circumference is the line all the way around the circle. And today we want to learn how to measure that line around the circle. Now when we have a rectangle or a square or a triangle or trapezoid, octagon, nonagon, we can measure the perimeter just by using a ruler and marking down how many inches or centimeters it is all the way around. With a circle, we can't use a circle with a ruler because it's rounded. So I'm going to show you what we can do today. So I have three circles here. I've marked them each with a little bit of chalk because it'll rub right off. You don't want to mark the circles with anything permanent, especially if it's something like this. This is Emily's concentric circle puzzle. So I want to make sure that I can return it to her with no marks, mark free. So the first thing we need to do is I've taped two pieces of paper together in case I get circumferences that are kind of big. And I am going to draw a straight line. Doesn't matter how long it is. Just a straight line like that. And I'm gonna put a dot at the very end, okay? Now, I'm going to take my middle circle and I'm gonna place this white mark right on the dot. And I am going to very carefully roll my circle without letting it slip or slide, which can be pretty easy to have happen. Okay, so I'm about halfway. See my white point? I'm gonna keep rolling and stop. Can you see the white point on the line there? I'm going to take my marker and I'm gonna mark where that white spot landed. Okay, so I'm gonna take my ruler. I'm gonna use inches today because I can't find my good centimeters ruler. Ruler, sorry. And I can see that it's about, I don't know, it's pretty close to eight and a half inches. So I'm gonna write eight and a half inches. All right. I'm gonna use this right card pencil. I'm going to carefully trace my circle. Okay, so my circle, See that it's kind of light. We know that my circle, the circumference, which I'm going to say is C, equaled eight and a half inches. Okay, so let's go ahead and do another one. I'm going to draw another straight line. I'm going to do my little baby circle this time, I think. I'm going to draw my line. It's a little hard. I'm on the floor in a rug and it gets kind of bendy. And I'm gonna put a dot down here. I am going to take my baby circle, my white spot. I'm gonna put the white spot on the dot and I'm gonna to start to carefully, carefully roll. It's really easy for it to slip and slide like that. So it can take some practice, but I find that pushing down on the paper helps me not slip and slide because slipping and sliding is going to how do you end up with the wrong measurement? So there, white spot is on the line. There we go. Oh, and let me trace this real quick before I measure it. There we go. And let's go ahead and measure it in our inches. Oh, look at that. It's right on six. So six inches. The circumference equaled six inches. Very cool. Now let's do our 
our big one. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna kind of make my line a little off center here. There we go. Let's hope that's long enough. I'm gonna make my dot. I'm gonna take my big circle. I'm gonna put the white dot or the white mark on the dot and I'm gonna begin to roll my circle. I think we're just barely gonna make it. Yes, see where the white spot landed? I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. There we go. And ooh, again, I'm gonna trace it before I measure. There we go. I'm done with our circles. Okay, so let's go ahead and measure this bad boy. And that is pretty darn close to 11 inches. All right, 11 inches. So the circumference of this circle equals 11 inches. All right, cool. So you can do this with any circle or cylinder in your house that you would like to do it with. You know, um, you might need to tape paper together if it's going to be any bigger than this. Also, please ask permission if it's going to be in any way big before you start rolling it out and all that kind of stuff in your house. If it's breakable, if it's something your parents might not want you to be rolling around, please make sure you ask them first. But you can go ahead and collect as much as you want. And you know, this is just two pieces of paper taped together, but you might need three. I don't know. It depends on what you find. So this is the first step, but I want to go ahead and show you one other thing. So I went ahead and redid my lines and rolling and measuring on a hard surface just to make sure that pushing into this soft floor wasn't having an effect and it turned out that it actually was. Uh, I was about a half inch off on both these circles. This one ended up being pretty much right. But so with the medium and small, I was a little bit off and you really want it to be correct, especially when I show you this next part. So I'm happy I went ahead and double checked. Double checking is always a good thing. So let's look first at our medium circle. So do you remember here is the center of the circle? And a diameter is a line that goes through the center of the circle and touches two places on the circumference. So it effectively just cuts it right in half like that. So I want to see how many diameters are going to fit inside the length of the circumference. So here we go. We have one, two, Three, and then there's this little bit left. So one, two, three, and then a little bit left over. Let's see if it happens again with the small circle. I'm gonna do the darker color first. One, two, three. Oh, look at that. One two, three, and then a little bit left over. Let's see if that happens one more time with our large circle. Let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then a little bit left over at the end. That's how you know that you've measured your circumference correctly. If a diameter can fit in it three times and a little bit more, then you know that you have measured your circumference accurately. What I noticed and how I figured out that something wasn't right in this one is that my circumference was only fitting three times in each of these lines and I needed three and a little bit more. It worked on this one down here. So I want you to go ahead, measure out some circumferences and every time, make sure that you can fit three and a little bit more of the diameter in the length of the circumference on your straight line. 
And we will talk more about this three in a little bit more because this is a relationship that humans have known about for a very, very, very long time. And it's something very special. So we'll talk about that another day. Okay, you guys, thanks so much and I'll see you later.